I'm right here, buddy. All right, so let's see what it has to say about my life or Ronan's life, but still. If only I could tell my younger self what I would become. Yeah. Don't we all wish we could do that? So, never forget the rush of taking down a first mark. He didn't see it coming, and I didn't see it coming when my dad held down my arm with a steady, steely, st steely, steely grin on his face and the tattoo gun in his hand, ready to give me a memento so the crime would be impossible to forget. Wow. Way to go, dad. Whoa. That was a nice poster. Anyways. What's wrong with him? Oh, I possessed him. I wonder if he feels that. Hello. Nice to see you there. Alright, so I'm not really sure if we're even supposed to be here. But it doesn't look like we're being stopped by any chance. By any stretch of the imagination. Oh. Seven more to collect. That's the first one we collect for one of these random stories that we could end up getting. Which, uh, sometimes tell a cool story. How much more are we going to find? Or are we going to find them all? I'm not so certain. So let's see. Forensic flat facility plaque. It's in grateful recognition of the generous anonymous citizens of Salem who allow this forensic facility to be built and better serve the people of its city or of this city. My body is probably here. Yep. Look at me over there. Look at me go. Aw. Oh, is this a girl we helped? I thought she went. I thought she. I thought she left. What happened? Why watch this? Uh, mind if I ask what happened? Oh, I guess that's not her. What does it look like? I died. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I can see that. I meant, how did you die? Autopsies aren't this thorough when the cause of death is cut and dry. I don't know. A bunch of pills. Some were sleeping pills. It was supposed to be peaceful. I didn't know that you wake up. What am I supposed to do now? I wish I knew, kid. I'll let you know if I figure it out myself. This is all a bad dream. It has to be. Sorry, but apparently it's not. This is why it's never a solution. Suicide is never the solution. This tattoo have two spiders in the web. He got his own tattoo wrong. It's just a tattoo. That's all I know. Focus on your work. And this raven, it's like chains to... Are those prison bars? We don't pay you to analyze tattoos. Yo, what the hell's wrong with this guy? Jeez. Just for that, I'm turning on the fan. His entire arm looks like a confession of... Of, well... A confession of... Lot of stuff. This we guy. The deceased in here, son. Don't forget that. I like that guy. The one that's uh, saying we respect the deceased. Nothing can prepare you for that. For seeing your own corpse. I've never felt so much like an empty shell until now. God, I look like a criminal. A little respect would be nice. Well, you're being an ass, so I'm not surprised you're not getting it. But tattoos might tell us something. Tell us why. Why is the old guy so harsh? Oh wait, this guy's the ass, and this guy's the cool guy. Okay, sorry. Yeah, a little respect will be good. And I don't think those tats are really gonna help. Like honestly, I don't think he killed me because of the tattoos, or because of what those tattoos represented. I'm not 100% sure. I can't honestly tell you. Oh yeah, the tattoos were it, but. I doubt that that would be actually the reason or actually the actual cause. Like, I just doubt that a bit. You know? C. Nelson, personal info. Claire Ann Nelson. Female, 20 years old, student. Wow. She was as old as I am. Holy crap. Ooh, a gun. Cool. So we've got six more to go. This, this room is useless right now. Six more guns to go. Oh, there they are. Okay, let's move in and see what they're talking about. Each one of these keys is a felony. Each one. You get that, right? No? All right, it's your funeral. 
Sit tight, relax. You're gonna be here for a while. Fuck! All right, look. Look, I might be able to help you. Is your mom's book from the Bell Killer case here? Yes, and it would probably help me find my mom, but as I told you before, you're dead. How can you possibly help me? Hey, I know this place better than you. Now, who did your mom work with here? Who? I don't know. She just called him Bastard. Baxter. All right. His office was on the second floor. You stick with me, I'll get you there. Let's go. Go where? They're watching. <laughs> Not for long. Did they just watch her have that conversation? There you go. See? I am more helpful than you thought. Right, she's got open doors and stuff. Ha! <laughs> she's got to open doors and sneak around. Look at her. All right, now what? Go. Come on. Can't you just walk through like me? All right, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing here. Oh crap! 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 No! No! Yes. Hope this night stays quiet. Okay, what do you want me to do here, buddy? Follow my lead. I'll get you past these cops and to the door on the other side. He's okay. Yeah. Last time you got caught, Magellan. Stay low or they'll see you. Great. She just ran off. Let's see. Let's post you guys this. A little bit of this. Come on, said crap. But stay low. Uh, some of this. Don't stop. Don't stop. All right, let's go. All right, we've got this. We've got this covered. Awesome. Yeah, I'm gonna need you to uh, help me out with that. I can't get through that, of course, as you can tell. We're almost there. Hey, I got us this far, didn't I? Does it? Don't I know that I can't get through that? Hey, kid. These things. I I can't get across. Okay. You're gonna have to help me. Can't you just fly over? I can't fly. I'm a ghost, not a plane. All right. And look, you need me to tell you which office is his. Possession time. Don't read any of my thoughts or think anything creepy. What? Are you got this? Don't worry. You can make it. Yeah, that's just nasty all over. All right, cool. Okay. We've made it. Get out. All right, hold on. Jeez. All right, cool. Same strategy as before. Let's go. Move, 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 move. Poltergeist, poltergeist, distract everyone in the office. Poltergeisting everything. I can't poltergeist this anymore. Here we go. Now I got it. This song doesn't sound familiar. Speed up, girl. Hurry up, guys. Come on, hurry up. Oh, she got caught. She got caught. She got caught. Oh my gosh, she wasn't caught. What? Hold on. Collect. Killer's profile. Suspect is male, likely without an immediate family, able to move about the city freely, only spotted a handful of times near the crimes, which is why I guess they spotted him or got his profile here and there. Let's see. I'm going to collect some of this. Karen Marie Douglas, female, 37, of age, accountant, unmarried, no criminal record, no violent relationship, socially known for Wednesday night aluha board parties. Pretty cool. Virtually no evidence at the scene of foul play. Expect bell symbol, no prints, no DNA, no immediate suspects. Is there only like 100, uh, 100 stuff? 100 pieces of evidence. Buddy, let's 
sickness she carried in her brain, you made it tolerable. Well, I guess you must be together now. Huh. Rex's gra gratitude. Rex is grateful to Ronan for helping Julia through her mental illness. She, she had mental illness? I didn't know. Look at that. Visit the station. I used to go to... I used to go visit Rex down the station, but it's been years, so when I went with Ronan today, it was like seeing the place in a whole new light. I was struck by the room they've got dedicated to the Bell Killer case. Everything they know or even guess might be related, it's in that room. The strange energy of the people coming in and out of that room. You'd think there was some religious observance, observance going on in there. I've never seen anything like it. That's dedication. That is what that was. Dedication to progress. Dedication to catch a criminal. But I don't know what they want me to do. Excuse me, gentlemen. Very creepily that are just standing there. I'm going to collect these. I'm going to collect this. Ooh, Ronan gets his badge. Big day. I've never thought I would... It, this would happen between Ronan actually going through with this and Rex pulling off the paperwork and managing Ronan's past. So much could go wrong, but it happened. And my man has a badge now. Look, looks good on him, and he loves it. I think his swagger just got even bigger. God, I love a guy with the, in uniform. <laughs> so is this supposed to be my office? Pretty badass office, actually. Is it? I can't. I can't tell. Ronan's trouble with the law. I always knew there would be. There had been trouble, but I didn't know his official arrest record was that extensive. Much worse than I thought. Felony after felony, going back to childhood. It's like he. It's like his life is already ruined. How can I join my life with his? Ooh. But it looked like true love conquered. No. Yes. It definitely did. Plain clothes cop. It was quite a trick Rex pulled, advising Ronan to detective without making him speed much time, spend much time as a B cop. He convinced the captain as and the commissioner that Ronan's street smarts would make his most would make him most effective. I'll read eventually, guys. As a plain clothes cop, Ronan was very re relieved. I could imagine he probably didn't want to wear that cop uniform and stuff like that. So what's this? Is this a gun again? Oh, cool. So four more, and we get to hear that story. We've only got to hear one of the stories so far throughout the game, and it was pretty gruesome. So hopefully you guys are ready for the next story, which probably won't be, I mean, will be uh, as bad, if not worse, of gruesomeness, you know. Not really a bad story, but it being pretty graphically detailed of, yeah, of what went down. Whenever that went down, uh, I can't promise that I'll collect them all because sometimes it's just too hard to find. So whose office do we have here? We have B. Baxter right across S. Smith. So who's S. Smith? Is a question of the day. No one. Okay. I kind of want to go back and uh, was this the office I was in? No, this is the office. Here we go. Yeah, so this was my office. Just wanted to confirm it. Uh, because I wasn't 100 percent sure, so I just wanted to, you know, be be, be sure. I just want I just wanted to know, you know. I just wanted to know. So, yeah, I don't know what they want me to do, but I'm gonna collect this nonetheless. Oh, what's this? The form of each murder changes. The inner zeal is the same. This is why the killings seem random, unrelated. But the police can't see these connections, except Officer Baxter. I can't say I trust him. He's my only chance. What if? What if I tell you? <laughs> I'm not sure, but what if he might be the bell killer? He probably isn't because that's probably what Square Enix, uh, and I don't remember who developed the game, but I know Square Enix published it. But yeah, what if that? that's probably what they want you to think, and then it's going to be like someone you never expected. It's going to be like, uh, the captain of the police force or it's going to be uh the little girl that's helping us out that'd be kind of weird wouldn't it like if it's her it's like ha 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 it was me this whole time it was like what how 
But either way, a pattern of behavior in the killer's motives that that the police are not seeing is the joy is the focus of Joy's mother. But she's not having trouble convincing them. But she's having trouble convincing them to take it seriously. So there you have it. Uh, I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do with the witness. I'm probably supposed to go talk to her because we've been talking to her this whole time. So I wouldn't be surprised if that was what we had. To, yep, yep, 